Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and as you can see I've moved from London to Lyon so I'm back in France for the next few months and today I decided to share with you this amazing chocolatey recipe. It's my chocolate pudding but in a very French way. It's what we think of chocolate pudding as French people. So this could be also called a fudge cake. It's a very very dense and fudgy cake. It's absolutely amazing. So let's get started with the base. So first of all I'm going to grease my pan, I'm using a 22 cm pan and I'm going to add parchment paper just so that it doesn't stick when we will bake our pudding. Perfect, now for the dry ingredients I'm going to mix some flour with some cocoa powder, it's 100% cocoa. Then I'm going to add some baking soda and some vanilla extract, very important for taste, and a pinch of salt and then I'm going to mix these dry ingredients together. Perfect, so we can move on to the liquid ingredients, very easy. And I'm first of all going to crack one egg and then I will add some melted butter. Great, now I'm going to add some sugar for sweetness and then I will add some creme fraiche or you can use sour cream for density. This will add so much richness to the cake, it's amazing. You have to put it in and then I'm going to mix that well. Once again, very easy. I'm going to put my dry ingredients in my liquid ingredients and mix well, and that's it. So as you can see I forgot to add the chocolate chips while I was mixing so no problem I added after I put the batter in the pan but that's totally fine. Just spread that batter evenly on your pan and that's it. Okay so now it is time for the weird part in this recipe. I'm going to add some cocoa powder and some sugar on top of the chocolate batter. And I'm going to move that around just so that the sugar and cocoa powder are mixed well. Perfect. And now I'm going to add some boiling water. Yes, very weird. But this is what's going to make that fudgy consistency. And I'm going to put it on my chocolate batter. And then we can bake the cake in our preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius. That's 350 if you are in the US and I'm going to bake my cake for about 30 to 35 minutes or until done. You want it to be set but not overly baked of course and then you can let it cool completely at room temperature. So as you can see this cake is wonderful and amazing, you don't even have to make sauce. The sauce comes from the water that you put before baking in the pan and this is as simple as that. And I actually like it very cold, it makes it even more fudgy in the inside, it's to die for. I like to eat this cake with ice cream and some chocolate sauce. I actually showed you how to make it in one of my videos for brownies pancakes. So please make your own sauce, it will be amazing. And if you can, please make your own ice cream, it will be even better. You can find the list of all of the ingredients used in this recipe in the description box down below this video, as well as the social media where you follow me. Please subscribe to this channel, it really helps me growing on YouTube. And I will see you next time for another amazing recipe. Bye.